When we found this conflict, we quickly realized that without redesigning the architecture of data warehousing, we would not be able to leverage the capability of the cloud. If you think about existing data warehouse architecture, they are very static. You really have to know what you are going to do many months in advance and provision compute capacity you know, to perform these tasks. You don't want to have your system oversized when you don't need it to, to perform these tasks. And at the same time, you don't want these tasks to take you know, hours. So, so you have to balance these two things. And if you need to upgrade this system, you have to do a forklift upgrade. The revolution with the cloud is, is really this aspect of having this instant access to unlimited resources on demand. So if you need it, you can you know, grab it, use it, and release them. Snowflake architecture is built from the ground up to leverage cloud infrastructure. It means you know, full elasticity of resources. It means, you know, changing the perspective from managing scarcity of resources to managing plentiful resources. Snowflake architecture is built around three independently scalable layers. One is the storage layer, which is unlimited in terms of storage capacity and very cheap. What we realized very quickly is that we had to decouple data from compute. In Snowflake, the data is stored independently of where the compute is performed. You really don't want to, to couple these two things together because the cost of storage and the cost of, of CPU are, are widely different. So this separation allows you to really use you know, more efficient storage for only what you need to process. The other layer that we have in our architecture is the compute layer. And the compute layer is completely independent. It's broken down into what we call virtual warehouses. If you think about traditional data warehouse architecture, all the compute is performed on one single cluster, which are contending with resources. And in Snowflake, you can have one warehouse and you can create it in minutes or seconds. This warehouse can be resized you know, up and down on the fly without stopping the workload. So this is done entirely online in a very flexible way on demand. Not only that, but you can create, if you wanted, you know, several virtual warehouses to access the same data. And these warehouses are completely Dependent, so they can be created and drop on demand really when you need them. And you can have as many of, of this warehouse running concurrently, accessing the same data, even modifying the same data. Let's say I have to start my ETL workload, my batch processing for the night, and I need you know, that to be executed quickly because I have a certain maintenance window. In traditional system, I will have to run that on the main cluster. In, in our system, you create a dedicated virtual warehouse at the time you need to start this batch processing. You size this warehouse exactly the way you need it uh, for the time you need it. You run your workload. If you see that things are not you know, going fast enough, while the workload is running, you can add more nodes. And as soon as this workload is finished, you can drop this warehouse. You have the flexibility of really matching the processing power that you need at the time you need it. The third layer of our architecture is what we call the cloud services. It's a separate layer, which also has its own independent compute layer and metadata repository and it's a layer which is doing all the functions of a database system all the transactional system runs in, in that cloud service if different warehouses are going to modify the same piece of data this is you know synchronized by the cloud service to really have a cloud data warehouse you need to reinvent you know that architecture and that goes with a redesign of the software and, and building the software from the ground up